What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L Eats again. And today, I am making Korean corn dogs with the flaming Hot Cheetos. Yeah, I don't normally eat hot stuff, but I can deal with the Cheetos, I believe. So I'm gonna make those, the, um, the Cheetos, Korean corn dogs, the sugar ones, and the regular panko corn dogs. All right, let's get to it. Blender, mm -hmm. and those are my cheese um, sticks. The string cheese. I got them over to the side, but I'm gonna go ahead on and crunch up my hot Cheetos. Okay, now it's time to blend it. Usually people use food processors, but I don't have one, so I got to use my Faberware. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your ass. Shake your cheese. Shake, 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 shake your ass, shake your cheese. It looks like it's shaking it up pretty good. No, it looks like it crunched it up pretty good. All right, I think that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. All right, here are the crunched up hot Cheetos. I already put my cheese on sticks and I got two cheese sticks in batter right now. And here's the flour. I got my oil over here. It's waiting on me to put the ingredients in, okay? I used Aunt Jemima pancake mix because once when I made it from scratch, to be honest with you, I used everything from scratch that's in the Aunt Jemima pancake mix. Because I, I thought about it. I said, okay, that's how I made pancakes. So I used it, and this is the consistency. You just add water and this is the consistency of it. Okay, for these, these have to go in the refrigerator. I'm gonna have to put flour on them. This is so the batter can stick, okay? So you're gonna put batter on it. You're gonna stir them around in the flour. Like so, this is what you're gonna do. Stir them around in the flour, stir them around in the flour. I'm using one hand, but I just want y'all to see what to do. All right, but you need to put it in the freezer. Don't put it in the refrigerator. Put it in the freezer. That way it can get cold quick for when you deep fry it. Okay, these are the ones that I got out the refrigerator. I'm doing these too because my kids are hungry right now. So, yeah, just put the pancake mix on and just stir it around. Well, roll it around, not stir do it like this. Make sure it's all covered up. All right, my grease is popping, so it's time to put it in there. Okay, these right here are like party sticks. 
But you can go get chopsticks. They say use chopsticks. And just put it in there. Okay. All right, let me grab a pair of tongs. They will cook rather fast, so you got to keep an eye on, on them because light pancakes, you know, they cook fast. You see it's turning by itself. So you can't take your eyes off of them, really. You really can't. You don't have enough time. So let me get me some paper towel. Put it to the side. Put some paper towel down right here. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. All right. See that? Now, don't that look pretty? Didn't take long at all. all right, I'm going to sit it right here. Sit these right here. And I'm going to roll them in sugar. Okay, I'm about to roll them in sugar. My kids are going to love these. They loved them last time. So that's covered in sugar. See how pretty that is? This one is covered in sugar. All right, now we're gonna do the Cheetos. Okay, I'm about to roll them in sugar. My kids are gonna love these. They loved them last time. So that's covered in sugar. See how pretty that is? This one is covered in sugar. All right, now we're gonna do the Cheetos. Okay, I just took the mozzarella sticks out of the freezer with the coating on it so they can stick to the dough better okay gonna put it on there put it on there put it on there it does way better when it's frozen well not frozen but when you put it in the freezer and it gets cold it does better okay This is the way I do it. You do not have to do it the same way. Some people have better ways to do it. But this is the way I do it. Because to me it's more simple. Okay. I got pancake stuff on my hand. Give me one second. Okay. We're trying to make sure we get it all on there. Make sure it's coated really well. Some people on their videos, they do it with a um, cup. They just dip, they put all this batter in a cup and dip the cheese in the cup, which they are geniuses because that is way better than what I'm doing. But I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing. I want it to, it to be a little bit more visual so you can see the consistency of it. But it is taking a little bit longer than it would someone who just dips it in the cup. Dipping it in the cup would be way, way better. Okay. This one looks like it's coated pretty good.
Okay, what about this one? Like a little bit more on this side. Try this one. Okay. Okay, it looks like I have rolled them around in it enough. So let's go to the stove. Okay, okay, it is ready. I see the steam coming up, so it is red tea. Right, it's getting done rather quickly. Get my tongs. Let's start to take these out because we're going to put them back in after we roll them around in the Cheetos. Try to try not to do it hard when you get them out because you could squish them and it'll take the prettiness away from it and even, even coating. All right, now we're going to go over. Okay. Now it's time for our egg wash and our hot Cheetos, okay? So we're going to stick it in here, roll it around, roll it around, put the hot Cheetos on it. And go around in the egg wash again. We're trying to make sure it gets fully coated with the Cheetos. Fully coated with the Cheetos. Y'all have to bear with me. I have children. Four of them. So, it's kind of hard to show y'all stuff. And do that at the same time. Sometimes. Because my help is helping me. All right, that's one. Just make sure you do it. All righty. Okay, that's the first one. We're going to have to put it back in the deep fryer, guys. So you are not done. No one eats raw eggs, okay? No one. Unless you're trying to do some kind of protein thing. And put it on there. So when y'all hear my baby crying and my kids in the background, just know that me and my husband are doing the best we can to make sure that y'all get good videos. But we're parents too at the end of the day. I should have put a little bit more hot Cheetos in this thing. Because I have four. And I'm trying to be sure that I have it coated well. Okay, that's number two. Number three. These are the hot Cheeto Korean corn dogs before I throw them back on the stove in the grease. Now I'm going to start on my panko. 
Okay, I'm about to make my panko one. So th those are my breadcrumbs. The seasoned panko breadcrumbs. All right, I'm gonna dip it in this. I'm trying not to get it. Try not to get it where the hot Cheetos were. But sometimes that happens. I'm on a time crunch because my kids want some love. And it does take a little longer when you're trying to show and record what you're doing. And for it to look halfway decent, okay? I want it to look decent for y'all. I really want it to look easy enough to try it, okay? Put more egg wash on for the panko. Oh no, some of the Cheetos is on it. Well, put it back in the panko and swish it around. Okay, it's looking good, ain't it? Looking better and better. I'm just trying not to waste any breadcrumbs, y'all. That's all. Trying not to waste and waste food and throw food away. Because I could have easily grabbed my thingamajig over there, the bottle, and put more on there. But I'm being a little frugal. All right. So here's my panko one. All right, now it's time to put them in the fryer. Okay, I'm about to make my panko one. So th those are my breadcrumbs. The seasoned panko breadcrumbs. All right, I'm gonna dip it in this. I'm trying not to get it. Try not to get it where the hot Cheetos were. But sometimes that happens. I'm on a time crunch because my kids want some love. And it does take a little longer when you're trying to show and record what you're doing. And for it to look halfway decent, okay? I want it to look decent for y'all. I really want it to look easy enough to try it, okay? Put more egg wash on for the panko. Oh no, some of the Cheetos is on it. Well, put it back in the panko and swish it around. Okay, it's looking good, ain't it? Looking better and better. I'm just trying not to waste any breadcrumbs, y'all. That's all. Trying not to waste and waste food and throw food away because I could have easily grabbed my thingamajig over there, the bottle, and put more on there. But I'm being a little frugal. All right. So here's my panko one. All right, now it's time to put them in the fryer. All right, it's time to go in the fryer. And each time I stop to do something else, I take my grease off of the aisle because I don't want it to sit there and just burn up, okay? So whenever you take, whenever you stop dealing with the grease, just take it off the aisle because you don't want it to sit there and burn, okay? Still hot. That's my pinko. And it don't need to fry long. It really don't. Right, this is ready to be taken out. Sorry about the movement of the camera. I'm 
using my hands, both hands while doing this. So, all right, that's the panko. Now here is the hot Cheetos. So these are not going to take long. 